Welcome to another Yes You Can DIY digital marketing tutorial by TTG. In this video, we are gonna cover how to install a plugin on your WordPress website. But before we get started, I just want to mention that you should always back up your website before you install any third party plugins or extensions. Just in the case that something that you install breaks something on your website, you have the ability to go back and revert to a previous version. So the first thing you wanna do is log into your website and then navigate to the dashboard of WordPress. And in the left-hand sidebar, you'll see a few different options. In this case, we're gonna to wanna to hover over where it says plugins and then click add new. This will bring you to the plugins dashboard where you have a few different tabs. You have featured, popular, recommended, and favorites. The popular section will bring you to some of the most commonly installed plugins and you can click on each of them to get some information on what the plugin does as well as access to FAQs and screenshots and more. In this example, I'm just going to install a plugin called Post Duplicator. This will allow me to duplicate posts as many times as I want. And before I install it, I just want to make sure that it says that it is compatible with your version of WordPress, which in this case it does. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. And then I'm going to click the activate button. This will bring you to your installed plugins once that's completed. And now when I go to my posts, when I hover over any of the posts on the site, you'll see that I now have a button that says duplicate post. So I can just easily create copies of any post I want with ease. So now that we've covered how to install plugins, I'm going to go over how you can update those plugins. So because plugins are constantly being updated by development teams, they oftentimes need to be updated by people who have them installed. And if you don't install these updates, it can oftentimes lead to issues where the plugin just isn't compatible with your version of WordPress anymore. So it's definitely important that you uh, do update them on a regular basis. So to update them, just go to your WordPress dashboard and then hover over plugins and then installed plugins. You'll notice that there's a little red notification icon right next to where it says plugins. That's just to let you know that there are updates available for plugins that you have installed on your website. So this will bring you to your list of installed plugins. You'll be able to tell which plugins need to be updated because it will say that there is a new version available. So just click the checkbox on whichever plugins need to be updated and then go to bulk actions and then click update and then click apply. And you'll notice that you get a little pop-up here telling you that you should probably back up your site before you update plugins. And that is true, you definitely should. And if you have updated it, just click no thanks, I already did this. And it will proceed to update it and you are all set. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below.